Hello friends, my name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Well, from many decades and centuries, a question that haunts us is, do ghosts really exist? Well today, I am here to discuss about it and at the same time give my conclusion about the mysterious question. Cultures all around the world believe in spirits that survive death to live in another realm. In fact, ghosts are among the most widely believed of paranormal phenomenon. Millions of people are interested in ghosts. And a 2013 Harris poll found that 43% of Americans believe in ghosts. The idea that the dead remain with us in spirit is an ancient one, appearing in countless stories. From the Bible to Macbeth, it even spawned a folklore genre, ghost stories. Belief in ghosts is part of a larger web of related paranormal beliefs, including near-death experience, life after death, and spirit communication. The belief offers many people comfort who do not want to believe that our beloved but deceased family members aren't looking out for us or with us in our times of need. If ghosts are the spirits of those who dead were unavenged, why are there unsolved murders? since ghosts are said to communicate through psychic mediums and should be able to identify their killers for the police and so on. Just about any claim about ghost raises logical reasons to doubt it. Ghost hunters use many creative methods to detect spirits presence, often including psychics. Virtually all ghost hunters claim to be scientific and most give that appearance because they use high-tech scientific equipment such as Geiger counters, electromagnetic field detectors, ion detectors, infrared cameras, and sensitive microphones. Yet, none of this equipment has ever been shown to actually detect ghosts. Other researchers claim that the reason ghosts haven't been proven to exist is that we simply don't have the right technology to find or detect the spirit world. But this Two can't be correct. Either ghosts exist and appear in our ordinary physical world or they don't. If ghosts exist and can be scientifically detected or recorded, then we should find hard evidence of that. Yet we don't. If ghosts exist but cannot be scientifically detected or recorded, then all the photos, videos, audio and other recordings claim to be evidence of ghosts cannot be ghosts. With so many contradictory theories and so little science brought to bear on this topic, it's not surprising that despite the efforts of thousands of ghost hunters on television and elsewhere for decades, not a single piece of hard evidence of ghost has been found. And of course, with the recent development of ghost apps for smartphones, it's easier than ever to create seemingly spooky images and share them on social media making separating fact from fiction even more difficult for ghost researchers. However, my conclusion from my research is ghosts do not exist as once a person becomes a ghost, he doesn't remember anything as he has lost his brain which stores all the memories. If brain that stores all memories is gone, so how are they remembering anything? But I can say that as there is memory in our brain, there is memory in nature. In the 1900s, a father made chronovisor, which was able to see in past by signs that nature has memory and can remember all the events. Yeah, it is true. You can just take a rock and find out when it was created or born, from what time it existed on earth. This theory was depicted in Christianity, Hinduism and various other cultures in the world. So it is the memory that haunts, not the person. And this is why as soon as a person dies, his body, his clothes and all his remainings which he used constantly has to be burned down as that memory can haunt later. And this was followed in many cultures from many years, that is leave the dead for dead. However, many people believe that Support for the existence of ghosts can be found in no less a hard science than modern physics. 
it is widely claimed that Albert Einstein suggested a scientific basis for the reality of ghost based on the first law of thermodynamics. If energy cannot be created or destroyed but only changes form, what happens to our body's energy when we die? Could that somehow be manifested as a ghost? It seems like a reasonable assumption unless you understand basic physics. The answer is very simple and not at all mysterious. After a person dies, the energy in his or her body goes where all organisms energy goes after death, into the environment. The energy is released in the form of heat and the body is transferred into the animal that eats us and the plant that absorbs us. There is no bodily energy that survives death to be detected with popular ghost hunting devices. If ghosts are real and are some sort of as yet unknown energy or entity, then their existence will be discovered and verified by scientists through controlled experiments, not by weekend ghost hunters wandering around abandoned houses in the dark late night with cameras and flashlights. That is it for today. I hope you liked our video. Make sure to hit a like and subscribe. Bye.